I, I am going to build a swarm trap to try to catch yeah. swarms of beehives uh, to increase the size of my apiary. This is a, a sauna tube which is used to um, make concrete pillars that typically be put in the ground like so and concrete would be poured in. I have cut this to uh, two feet long and uh, I'm going to, going to uh, put ends into it and use some of my top bar hive uh, bars and uh, I'll also put some uh, some attractant in there, and then we'll hang these in trees near apiaries with the hopes that uh, we can catch some, catch some swarms. Uh, this is the non-removable end, uh, and I originally wanted to hang frames uh, in it, and so I drilled these holes so that the frame would uh, fit in and then not uh, not wiggle out. Uh, one could do it with a slot or a gap like this, but then I was worried that the frames might uh, wiggle out and I'd end up with a mess as I'm trying to hoist the, the uh, uh, trap into a tree. But I've since decided to not use frames. I'm going to use my top bar hives. And so this, this uh, end is set so you can ignore these holes for this purpose. And this is set up to hold the top bar hives like so. So what we'll do first is install uh, this end in one of these common tubes. Like that. So now you can see this end is completely covered. Uh, and if we look inside... Like and you didn't put very many... Uh, I only put three, three screws, screws in, in there. Okay. I don't know if you can see inside there. Mm -hmm. I have it upside down. It's actually going to be like this mm -hmm. with the top bars in that gap. So we have a little gauge here. We know how far down we have to we have to put this uh, so that it, the, at the end it is uh, lined up right. And then we've got to line it up so that this flat spot is in the same location as the other flat spot. And once I have that, too dark to too dark really to show the bottom there. Now I can, maybe you can see it a little bit. I've got to turn it a little bit down. Away. And this this piece uh, would would be removed at the time of uh, of uh, extracting the uh, the the uh, swarm from from this uh, trap. Actually, I'll get six pop bars in here. And that all seems to fit nicely uh, for purposes of. Um, yeah, basically. But it is carbon steel. Like the. So. Try this again. So, and so I'm a little worried that the, if I took this up in the tree, that these might pull out, like you can see here, and then they would fall down. And so uh, to prevent that, these are old, uh, this is coroplast, corrugated uh, plastic. Recycled uh, from old um, political signs. Political yeah. signs yeah. And so I'm just going to put that over this, and that'll, that'll keep it all in place. I'm just going to use some staples here. Uh, So there's the completed uh, inside of the of the uh, hive. I, uh, the next thing we'll do is swab it with uh, some old brood uh, comb to make it smell good, and then we'll uh, put the cover on. We'll have to stop until we get. To so this is an inch and a quarter uh, hole, which I had read on the internet was a good size uh, hole to attract bees. I see I was, mesh under there. I was really, I'll turn it over. I was really worried that I might end up with uh, making a bird house instead of a bee trap. 
and so I put a half inch uh, hardware cloth. I tried to maximize, there's actually four half inch holes the bees can get through, but I believe that'll stop uh, most, uh, most birds and uh, limit this to, to at least insects and with any hope uh, to bees. Again, this is made out of uh, orange strand board that I've put uh, uh, four or five coats of paint on to, to try to make it uh, last in the weather. So here we are with the, with the uh, where we were before. With the you know, it's completed on the inside. You can see the uh, top bar. And so what we're going to do is just put some uh, some good good uh, brood. Uh, Plum gem in here, to, or plum gem, I think it's called, to uh, make it all smell good. Smells pretty good, actually. And uh, smells like honey. Does that look like some of the Good to me. Okay. And uh, maybe we'll just uh, move that around a little bit. And turn it over so I can see. Yeah, that's good. All right. So hopefully the bees will find that irresistible. That's the goal in life. Okay, so let's try to line up the poles here. Okay. So then I already talked about the harness. So there's a there's a completed completed uh, the green. It looks just like it did before it was completed, except that we know that it's got stinky stuff in it. That's right.